What if we could force a train to stop? We get a wagon full of some flammable oil, put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Don't be an idiot. Put it now! Come on, cough it up! That was fun, boys. Real fun. We can see what they call you, the professionals in the outfit. Shut <laughs> up. At least we made some money. Arthur, isn't it? Arthur Morgan? Who are you? Agent Milton. Agent Ross. Bring in Vanderlyn. You have my word, you won't swing. They are employees of the Pinkerton Detective Agency. And they know about the train and they know we're here. Were you followed back here? No. They know we're near here. And they want you, Dutch. I say we do nothing. Just yet. <laughs> How we gonna get them stopped? The usual way with the six shooter. What if they keep on going? Or what if they speed up when they see the iron? Well, shit, I don't know. How about you do your planning with your traps closed, eh? Wait, I, 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 got, I got an idea. What if one of us were to lay in the road and pretend to be sick like? These killers ain't gonna stop for no invalid. They don't want no consumption. Well, they might not stop for you and me, but they might stop for a lady. Where are we gonna find a lady? Well, you're about the right size. You are gonna take that back. Well, look, I think you just might look good in a dress is all. If you fellas don't like the plan, then we can think on something else. If I gotta hear one more idiot idea out your mouth, hey! What you hollering for? Ain't these boys' fault they're as dumb as rocks? Now let's get some shut eye. We'll figure this out in the morning. All right. We'll leave it.
interesting way of putting it, James. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Very true. In that case, I'm an idiot. I know how to get things done efficiently. Look at me. Why would I lie about this? Arthur, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen, uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay. I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin. By marriage, I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now, you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Karma de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. <laughs> really? Really. Look out, Arthur. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, Seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Get! That must be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Let's take a quick look at the place. Distract him by putting on a little show where you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? Let's do it now. 
Sure. All right, then. Don't follow me. <laughs> Wait until I have them distracted outside, then sneak into the house. My good man, my good young man. Fare thee well, fare thee well. <laughs> is your father home, Sonny? Sure is. Get him down here, please, get him down here. Get lost, mister. I was lost for many years. I was lost many years, now I'm not. And you know what? Oh, here he is. Are you the father of the house? Sure. Pleasure to meet you. I was just chatting with Junior here a bit. You selling something, partner? I'm not selling, sir. I'm giving it away. <laughs> I was just telling, uh, uh, your, uh, Junior, what's your name, son? Robert Crawford III, sir. The, oh, pleasure to meet you. I have been saved. I have been found. Oh, no, I, I saw it in your eyes. You think I'm a nut? Do you think I'm a nut, Bob Crawford III? I ain't interested in no religious talk. I'm... A religious man respects them as has it, but I got something better, way better than church. Free. Spinal. <laughs> what? Spinal alignment. The Lord God Almighty, or who, whomever built us, put our brains in here, but our souls is in our backs. You, sir, your, your back looks kind of tricky and complicated. Sure. I can fix that for you. Just 10 or 15 sessions. Whiskey suits me fine, sir. Whiskey? It's whiskey is his cousin. The problem. Movement in the spine. Whereas your whiskey, made with grain as it is, it leaves the spine brittle. Lay down here a little. Won't take long. Give me a minute. Sir, you'll have to me again. <sighs> that better just a bit yeah yeah it's a it's a little bit better <laughs> this session has been free but perhaps i might call again how much will it cost i'm offering you for and you're ah yes Bits and pieces, nothing too fancy. Well, we need anything we can get right now. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly, anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye, and as usual, he did not flinch. Exactly. How long you think we're gonna stick around here for? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. I hope it's not stashed in town like we did in Blackwater. Even if we had to dump the money from the ferry. We could have at least got the rest out if it was hidden someplace else. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Whoa! <laughs> Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. <clears throat> Park that thing in here. Quickly. <laughs> Uh, 
nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for them. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Sure. to the grown-ups. It's hot and delicious and all you're gonna get. Come on! Bad situation. I'm a mother. I know, my dear. If I were you, think of the boy and make plans. Arthur! Stop being strange and tell her to make plans. Listen to Jose, Abigail. I just wish John was... I care about him. Damn fool that he is. I know, dear. Stay calm. Jack needs you calm. Well, what are we gonna do? Is Dutch... I... I mean, he's always found a way, but lately I... I know, dear. Seems we don't have a choice but to ride this train to the end of the line. Hey, Arthur. Good to see you. Why? You want rescuing again, dear? <laughs> no. I got a plan to make it up to you. It should be here in a little bit. Hold tight. Which way will they be coming in? Should be from over there. We need to hit them fast before they get into town. Just don't lose your head this time. Of course, tough guy. <laughs> 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 